Yes, well, welcome to the poor man's shop. What we're working on here today is a PVC steam engine, an oscillating steam engine. What I've started here is a piece of three inch PVC pipe. You can see that. I had. Okay. Then I glued on a uh, a fitting, just a regular PVC fitting, straight coupling, I believe it was. And then I uh, put it on the chop saw here, turned the blade backwards so it didn't catch, and sliced her down, cut the fitting off, but left this hub right here. You can see the glue. Well, the purple is the primer, but there's glue there too. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so anyhow, what we're trying to do here is I don't have a lathe. Metal or wood. But what I do have is a Mastercraft combination belt and disc sander. It was a six inch disc sander. I took the faceplate off for the disc. And I'll show you here what I've done. I need to make the end plate for the top of the cylinder here. This is the cylinder. So this needs a plate on it. And uh, I'll have a six bolt hole pattern in here. Some uh, quarter 28 uh, by three quarter inch socket head cap screws hold this plate on. Now what we're doing, hi Pika, hi Sheena. And uh, so I needed a way to turn some of this PVC trim I've been using on my windows. Needed a way to turn that. So I'll show you what I've done here. I've taken my belt sander. That's an overall picture over here. You can see the motor down there in the belt. But what I did is I had a gear here with a hub on it, so I remanufactured that with a set screw and put a six bolt hole pattern through there and attached a piece of PVC trim and now we're going to try and turn it I found this is an old um, tool post holder that I had from an old wood lathe I had about 35 years ago Try to stop the shaking of my hand. So I bolted it to a 2x6 as a riser, which has 12 screws holding it to a piece of 3 quarter inch exterior grade plywood, which is then clamped to my workmate table. <laughs> but it's very solid. And I clamped on the belt sander. There's one of the clamps there. And uh, well, you can see I started uh, forming some of the rings. This is going to be a register here. So it will fit inside the uh, cylinder head. And then that will make my transferring of the six bolt hole pattern, which starts, there's one right there. Uh, there's another one. There's another one, all ready to be drilled out. 
So that'll be uh, transferred. to this ring here that I had previously shown you. Then, I will bolt that on. But this piece here, this register, will fit inside that cylinder wall and keep it from going back and forth or this way or that way or popping out of position or anything like that. Now this little area here, I dished out already that will be for the faceplate I made to sit in here because when I flip this over to finish the other side and contour it and finish the edge make it round I need to make sure that this that faceplate sits in perfectly center as it is on this side so if I turn it now before I flip it over we should be in great shape so what I'm going to do now is uh, move the tool post out of the way and see if my registration here, right here, does indeed fit in that cylinder. I don't know if I'll be able to catch this. On the camera or not. We'll see. Okay, we'll go with that, huh? You won't see that the very top. Uh, I think I'll have to swing this all out of the way. Take my cylinder here. Oh man, that's perfect almost. A little bit of clay, but uh, enough that I can get that perfectly centered. And it'll keep it from twisting out when I'm trying to transfer my hole. So. I could make it a little tighter. I might try to come out here a little bit, make this a little deeper, just to see what happens. Well, we could try. Could take this. Uh, sitting down. Now here's a parting tool I have. So hopefully this vibration won't rock you. Okay, now you can see I got the register perfect, and it's actually such a good friction fit. It's holding the cylinder itself without any fastener. It's holding it on there. 
So that was a good thing. I couldn't run the camera at the same time. Yeah, so that's going to work out great. That's a better view of it there, perhaps. That'll just register in the hole here. Then, I think that part's done. Now all I gotta do is flip it over, mount the face plate I made on this side, take it down to a half an inch thickness here. Got my micrometers out. And then this will get sculpted on this side. So, I'm going to work on that. Bring you back. Oh, right. Now you can see I got everything switched around. Yeah, there's the, uh, the back of it there. It's putting that little embossed area there, that uh, dish in there. That was perfect for that gear. So I'm going to roll the diameter head off, get that to four inches, and then I will take all my measurements, even though I have some lines there, I'll take all my measurements from the edge in. So, there'll be a little... Dish, and it will probably, hopefully, I'm hoping, I used short enough screws that that will, uh, the little dish area, dished out area here, will get rid of those screw holes. And, well, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when we're further along. All right, here we have the cylinder end plate. I don't know if you can see the six hole bolt pattern, I'll go drill that out pretty soon. But the holes disappeared like I wanted. And I'll uh, dismount this, drill this out for the correct size, quarter inch clearance holes on that six bolt pattern. Sand it down a little bit. Uh, give it the old once over. It's now half inch thick instead of three quarter. My only concern is, is if this PVC trim is actually strong enough. Of course we're not doing steam, it's just air pressure, so I could back it up with aluminum plate if I need to, I guess. Uh, but onward, I'll go down and drill some holes and See what happens. Yeah, so I thought I'd give you a look here before I go drill those holes. Oh, my screws are there. Let's say the old uh, poor man's faceplate lathe. <laughs> did a pretty damn good job. I'm real happy with that. Look at that. Starting to look like a steam cylinder to me. Oh my god. Yeah. So, go down and drill some holes. I'll be back. Okay, here it is. Head bolts. Drilled 
drilled, put in, looking good. Whole pattern worked out perfect. And uh, this is the underside. Some sealant will go around there, or gasket if I make one, I'm not sure. Probably just sealant, or maybe a little o-ring or something, I don't know. And then, uh, of course, that'll sit right down on our cylinder here. Of course, the gap will be gone <laughs> once I transfer the holes. Got a set of transfer punches, punches from uh, Brian, and uh, I'll transfer them. Drill them down quarter inch. Thread them quarter twenty eight. Got to wait for the taps from Brian, but. Uh, He's got them on order. So, that's that end plate. Now to move on to the one that goes on this side. Uh, working good, working good. Very happy with that situation.